On the normal day, currently I did not connect the CT power to this 60 amp. It's just directly coming in and it's powering up all of this uh, breaker. But I will gonna disconnect it from the top and connect it to this 60 amp. The power from the grid is coming through the 60 amp and is powering all of this breaker on the normal way. So if I have extra power that it be generated by solar panel, it's gonna go directly back to the city. But if when the grid goes down, because I don't want in that moment be connected to the grid, I flip the switch on. The minute that I flip the switch on, it's connecting this, this uh, outlet to this point. These are 240 volt outlet. It'll be connected to this. At the same time, this little slot is shutting off the uh, cable that it goes to the main panel and is connected to the city. So this, this uh, sub panel get insulated from the grid. From that moment, I can use my inverter and powering up this sub panel. When the sub panel get the powered up, solar panel that is right in here is gonna get powered up. After five minutes, they coming on and hopefully it's generating the same amount of the power that I'm seeing it right in here for me. If I'm using them inside my house, great. If I don't use, whatever I'm not gonna use is gonna go to the battery. When the battery get it, start overcharging the uh, dump load is going to kick in and more load and more load is going to come in to eat up extra power that has been generated by the solar panel. As we see the sub panel was in a garage right there and this is the main panel right in here. This is the main panel right in here. This is the switch that is going to take the power from the main panel to that sub panel over there. This breaker right in here. Instead of coming right in here and shutting off this breaker right in here, I put another breaker in the other side. So at the same, and I make them interlock with a uh, inverter. So when the inverter is giving the power to the sub panel, the uh, grid is gonna be off. And when the grid is gonna give a power to the sub panel, the uh, inverter switch is gonna be off. So all this, when the power goes down, when the grid is gonna go down, it not gonna have any power to it. I made this system interlock with this little slot right in here. I'm gonna show you how this thing does work. If I connect the grid to this sub panel, it's automatically it's gonna shut off the inverter output with this little slot that is right in here. So we cannot have the inverter output and the grid powering up this sub panel at the same time. I'm going to turn on right now the inverter output and you can see automatically it's going to go ahead and shut off the uh, grid input. So this is the interlock system that I built right in here with the $5 little slug and little terminal right there. <coughs> okay, so this orange wire right in here that is connected to this uh, kilowatt they call them that it shows how much wattage am I using. Let me just put on the wattage. It's gonna be connected to the real load. As you see right now, the macro, the macro inverter, they are generating some power right now that is not being used, so it's being dumped. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a 750 watt power to load right in here. And you can see the dump load is gonna get out of the circuitry. Both of my macro inverter, as you see, the one that is be connected to this power supply and the other one, they are pulling about 200 watts powering the input. So my guess the output out is going to be something around 190, 180 watts they're putting out solidly. They are not moving so much around anymore. And battery, they're putting about 14 amp current coming out of the 24 volt battery that I do have right there to run the 750 watt. So if I do the correct calculation for the 750 watt, so if I didn't have this two macro inverter right in here, I supposed to pull about 32 amp out of the 24 volt batteries right in here to run this 750. As you see, I'm just pulling something about 12 amp. And rest is being supplied with these two macro inverter. That's going to be the real life usage of the macro inverter without the grid. 
So as you see, the micro inverter is on right now, it's running, it's not connected to the grid, and it's using the output of this inverter. This is a 4000 watt inverter. The model number is a 4024. Uh, 4024, yes. It's 4000 watt and it's running with a 24 volt battery. Uh, and again, as I explained everything, this is the real life dump load. I'm not going to add anything or subtract anything from it. This is going to be the real inverter that I'm going to use. The only thing that is going to be changed, I'm going to use the two bigger battery. Each one is going to be 130 to 150 amp battery. And using the solar panel instead of this uh, DC supply that I do have right in here as an input on my inverter. So this four inverter that I have, one right in here, and three over there is going to be added to the 28 that I do have in the top and going to be feeding the uh, sub, uh, sub panel uh, board that I do have and that is going to power the lighting and everything inside the house this is actually the power that is being consumed by that heat gun over there it's almost 200 it's a 744 watt okay this is the final product as you can see right in here i separated the load control this is the load control right in here right in here this is the load control it has the input that is going to go this going to get connected to the inverter and it has a battery connector that is right in here or the connector and that's it and any extra load that I do have is going to get coming to these plugs and then I can connect all of my load. This is going to be 1000 watt. I'm just going to put number number two. The first load is going to be 500 watt. That is going to be this. And the third load is going to be this one. Again, 1000 watt. And the, for the fourth and fifth load, I'm going to use a 1500 watt heat gun that I do have. I already explained this one how you want to do it. These are it said 110, but if you just using them at the 750 watt and plugging them to the 240, that is going to give you the uh, 1500 watt. By the way, I change a light bulb in all of these. I change them to the 240 that because the dump load, all of the dump load that I do have are 240. This system is controlling the 240 volt supply extra done so this is going to be my inver inverter right in here i we already explained about it this is the plug that is going to get connected i'm just going to connect them right in here to the wall it's going to come right in here to this fuse sub uh, uh fuse box that i do have right in here it said inverter tie that is going to be right in here when i turn them on is causing this fuse to goes off this is the grid tie the power from the grid is coming right in here and distributed through these fuses. If I turn this thing up, this is slug is causing to push this fuse off and turning on this side. So the power is coming from the inverter to powering up all of these fuses. At the same time, it's powering up the solar panel. So the solar panel, they're coming on after five minutes and they're generating the power. Extra power is going to go through the same route to the inverter and get dumped through all of those dump load that I do have. As you can see right now, I installed this meter in the top right now. It shows 40. It's supposed to show 240. Something wrong with the first digit. It's a 240 volt and my solar panel, they are generating 13.5 amp. Right now, it's about a quarter to the four. We are in Austin, Texas. Uh, today, I think is uh, January 17. So at almost four o'clock in the afternoon, we are generating 13.5 amp. Of course, this is the envoy that is part of the in phase. It shows currently I'm generating 3.55 kilowatt. I use this little router right in here to transmit the, uh, res uh, the re transmit the information out of the envoy to my main router that I can get them anywhere in the world that I wanted to. Okay, and this is going to be 1000 watt, 220, 240, I changed this light bulb to the 240, another 1000 watt, 500 watt, 1500 watt, 1500 watt. So the total dump load that I have is about 5500 watt. 
but the circuitry can handle till 10,000 watt. I'm just using 5,500 watt on that. One more time, that just shows the fuse box. Right in here, as you can see, the reason that I put this little slot right in here to make these two fuses interlock. The inverter tie is gonna be on, or the grid tie can be on. They both can be off, but one at a time they can be on. The reason is I don't want to power up the grid while I'm using my inverter. This is the whole circuitry. Uh, they tag everything up, and system is ready to go. That's about it.